Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to my Linux experiment. And today we're going to install Elementor OS 5.0 Juno on a separate partition of my main machine. I know what you're thinking. But Nick, you said not to install it yet, it's for highly technical users and developers. Yep, well somebody has to do it, so I'm gonna do it. To be fair, I'm not replacing my complete system with Juno yet, I'll just be installing it on some spare space on my secondary SSD. So, how to proceed? Create a USB key. This might seem like a no-brainer. Just get to the elementary Juno blog post, download the ISO. Then get yourself a live USB creating tool. My favorite is Image Burner, available from the App Center. Just select the ISO, the USB key, and go! Create a partition to install Juno on. Okay, so this one is a bit more risky. I'm gonna use my secondary SSD on which I store my games. If I lose them, no big deal, I'll just re-download them from Steam. The rest of my drives are safely backed up every day, so I won't lose much data if I mess this up. So, let's unmount the partition to be able to play with it. Just open the file manager and click on the little eject arrow near the partition you want to do. And probably you'll have to enter a little password. Then I'll open gparted, which is also available from the App Center. It stands for GNOME Partition Editor. From here, I'll just select the partition I want to resize, and I'll select the space I need to install Juno. For this little test drive, I think 20 gigabytes should be enough. Okay, so we hit our first snag, since uh, as you can see, I have now an unallocated uh, space, which is about 20 gigabytes. But if I go to partition and new, it's telling me I cannot create more than one primary partition, and I need to create an extended partition. This means I have to format the whole freaking disk. So I moved a little bit of my games and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna revert the change and we're gonna redo a little uh, partition table and we're gonna erase all the data on this disk, which is my games disk. So now we're just gonna create a new partition, which is gonna be an extended partition. And uh, now we should be able to do some stuff with it. So label, we're gonna call it uh, secondary. Add that, and uh, now we're going to create a new normal partition, which is going to be a logical partition, which we're going to lab label games, and we're going to do it at uh, two four two hundred and forty thousand megabytes, and we still have twenty one gigabytes free for something we could call Juno, which is going to be a logical partition as well in X four. And now we're going to apply those changes, which is obviously going to wipe all the games I have saved on this drive, but it's okay because my saves are in, the, are in the cloud. And there we are. I now have a fresh X4 partition on which to install Juno. Booting from the Juno key. The next step is an easy one. I just plug the USB key in, reboot the system, and it should launch Juno automatically. If, if it doesn't, just go into the BIOS settings and look for boot sequence or boot order or boot priority and make the USB key the first drive to boot from, then reboot again. Once this screen appears, just select Try Juno without installing. This should take you to the desktop and help you make sure it works on your hardware before installing. Install Juno. Easy step here. Once you've checked that everything works fine and is in order, just launch the Juno installer and you should be okay. Just follow the steps described in the installer and wait for it to finish. The only tricky step is to select the partition or the free disk space on where you want to install. So I'm going to have to choose install alongside elementary OS low key. And I'm just going to select the partition I want to install it on. And then I'll just follow the next steps. Once it's done, we'll just reboot the computer and see how well it worked. Rebooting. So now, at startup, I'm going to get a grub screen, which is the bootloader, which allows you to choose which system you want to boot. I select Juno, and I restart my computer. And there we go. I'm now in Juno, and everything is working perfectly fine for now. I just set up my session and try to play with it. Disclaimer. Obviously, these steps worked for me. It doesn't, however, mean that they will work for you. Depending on your computer, your partition setup, something could go wrong. 
so to be clear, always back up before playing with installers and partitions. Better yet, install Juno and a secondary machine if you have one. This version is a beta and not suitable for production use. I just install it because I want to play with it and I don't really mind if I have to install everything since I have backups and all I do on my computer is these videos anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, do try Juno out if you have a spare partition or computer lying around and don't hesitate to file bugs if you do because that's one of the main purposes of this beta version. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next one and bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.